Yeah, I, I think the, the, the IoT uh, industry as such as that's building out is, is starting to evolve. Um, I think certainly it's, it's evolving to be more about business transformation, uh, insights, and ultimately from those insights driving more action. So we're certainly focused on the line of business uh, manager, uh, business decision maker in those industries and verticals, what their challenges are, and then ultimately talking to them around connecting some of their edge devices, um, starting small, seeing some return on investment and value, and then growing out their IoT solution from there. And we, we see a lot of um, a lot of relief, should I say, from customers when we talk to them like that, because they suddenly realise that this this huge thing called the Internet of Things, which is billions of devices, huge amounts of data, um, and, and ultimately the possibilities from a revenue point of view running into the, the, the trillions of dollars, they're very confused and concerned on where to start. So we're very much about starting small, understanding some of their business challenges, pulling some of that data into the cloud, using some of our Azure cloud services uh, to certainly capture that, drive information back to those devices and take information from those through various gateways and servers and services. Um, and then ultimately, you need to do strong business analytics with products like uh, Power BI for Office 365, HD Insight, because once that data um, and analytics is driven, um, it, it gives the business the real insights so that they can transform their business as I started with. So some of those key industries that we're seeing uh, being early adopters um, are manufacturing. I think manufacturing has been playing in the machine to machine space for some time, um, but they're understanding now what IoT and those devices can do for their business. So manufacturing, one, has got one of the highest growth rates for IoT spend moving over the next four or five years. So that, that's a key area um, for us to focus on. And ultimately that's giving, as a horizontal solution, uh, predictive and preventative maintenance type service opportunities for manufacturers to redefine their offering. Um, secondly, if we look to across uh, smart cities, we look from a local and regional government perspective uh, where Cities meet airports, uh, that's also being a, a key area where more and more people are living in the cities, so we're getting congestion, and then more and more people are needing to also travel. So that dead ground between airports and cities is, is, is a critical area where we need to uh, commute from home to catch our, our flights. Um, and, and there's, a, there's a, a huge opportunity to basically make that journey uh, easier more uh, stress-free and ultimately add more value and there's lots of the, the uh, transport companies uh, and the cities looking at how they make that better for people. And then thirdly which leads on to that, uh, transportation. So transport if you look at across the aviation industry, uh, the uh, rail networks, uh, this is a huge area where logistically they're looking at where they can add more value within their supply chain um, and that's a huge growth area, probably the third one that I'd, I'd look at. There are many, many different types of systems that um, both old and new they're going to need to be connected to. And there are experts um, and partners that work in those industries today, especially from a, a vertical and industry perspective. So Microsoft isn't an expert in an industry, but there are lots of partners out there that um, systems integrate and, and build independent software vendors that, that build solutions that connect across there. So one of the major challenges is certainly the partner ecosystem and the partner network. The Microsoft has 36,000 partners in the UK today. It's a huge network and globally it's well over 140,000 partners. So we believe we've got a strong network of partners that, that work left to right in all myriads and, and different parts of, of the industry today. And our job is, is connecting those partners and building out uh, our partners with the right skill sets that can deliver an end-to-end -end solution. So one of the second uh, issues uh, and perhaps uh, biggest challenges that we'll face in IoT is certainly around security. Um, security of, of both public and private data. What gets shared, uh, what gets um, analyzed and ultimately um, what we do with that data. So I, I think that's evolving but I think customers and partners should certainly look deeply at uh, the rules and regulations and the ethos of, of companies and what they are prepared to do with your data and more importantly what they're not. Um, I think that will be one of the key challenges but ultimately as an industry we'll evolve and we'll, we'll overcome these challenges uh, and drive that value into the future. The IoT World Forum 2014 um, was 
packed, it had some quality names. Uh, there was all sorts of people across the industry from small startup companies. We had, I, th I think, great uh, coverage across Europe. So there weren't just UK uh, partners here. It's nice to see more enterprise companies starting to come. Uh, uh, Jaguar Land Rover spoke. Um, it was really, really pleasing to see a customer speak about what they're doing in the Internet of Things. And I think as this event moves forward, getting large enterprises to talk about what they're doing to drive return on investment and understand their total cost of ownership and issues will be key for the event going forward.